hello, hello, hello. Just thought I'd pop on a little earlier because didn't know if it was going to be a little confusion or not. Because when I went to StreamYard to, you know, pop on first, this stream wasn't on there. So like, I know I did it. So anyway, but I'm here. It's a little early, I know. And this show is by request. People wanted panels. So today I pulled out lots and lots of panels. Um, hey, Kitty, how are you? I have Christmas panels. I have doll panels. I have cows. I have, what else? I have one Barbie. I may have one 18-inch girl doll um, dress panel. I think it's in here. Um, so lots of different panels. Uh, they will start at, um, I have some panels that will start at a dollar. And, and you know, there they'll be offer ups. And then I'll have some fixed price items as well. Hey, Angela, how are you? Uh, what else? So that's basically it's going to be all panels today. Um, I have some vests. I know someone requested some vests, so I'm hoping that they are on here today. Um, like cute little things, like look at this here. I bought this at a quilt store years and years ago. I don't know. If, I don't think I can sell this still. You know me. <laughs> hey, Simone. <laughs> I bought this at a, a little a quilt shop. I forgot where it, it was. Anyway, I thought it was cute. So I'm going to have to pray on that one. Well, you know, I, I just kind of go in different boxes. And, you know, sometimes I can let it go. Sometimes I can't. So we're going to pray on that one. This is an apron. So I do have some aprons. And these are all just cut and sew. What is this? This is a little Christmas vest. Uh, what is this one? Uh, this is Nicholas Bear. Hey, Yolanda, how are you? And I will be invoicing right after the show. I'll start invoicing. Uh, I have two of these here. They're pillow panels. And if you actually stitch around these lines, it'll actually look like it's quilted. <laughs> Ooh, here is a Halloween vest. Um, oh, here's an, oh, these are just, uh, let me see what it is. Uh, these are just appliques, Father Christmas appliques, and they're showing it several, um, uh, several ways. Let me get down past Christmas. Cause we got a lot of Christmas ones for some reason. Yeah. Here's an 18 inch doll dress one. A dolly dress in vest. Let me show you the doll. There she is. Isn't that a pretty dress? So we have that. We do have one of those. And that's a Daisy Kingdom. I always like to do a little preview. Oh, we got these. And I do have quite a few of this one here. These are pillow panels. Like this is Taz, and we got uh, Tweety Bird, Daffy Duck, and somebody else. Oh, Sylvester, Sylvester the cat. So we do have some of those, and the little border that you could use with the ABCs on it. So we have a pretty good selection, I believe. Oh, okay. And, oh, let me show you these ones here, these panels here, too. I have quite a few of these. These are clothes that fit a, but you know what? And I have the dolls if somebody wants some of the dolls. Hey, Jane, how are you? I do have some of the dolls. And what did I do with them the other day? Might be able to put my hand on it. 
Um, but this is for this right here. So everything you need to make this cute little dress. And this one actually has the little stuffed plush thing in there. Oh, this one do too. Here's a cow. So I have quite a few of those ones. Oh, this is an adorable little dress. These fit, I think this doll is 14 inches. Molly, well, that one is Monique and Molly. So we do have some of those. So lots of panels today, ladies and gentlemen, if we have any gentlemen in. What is this one here? Oh, I put this is not really a panel but it's kind of related it's got the bibs in it with the uh embroidery floss and this makes three different bibs and this is just an iron on and this little barbie this is a craft using kind of any fat quarters i did not bring any fat quarters today jane but i do have um i think they're in here what did I do with them? Let me see. I think I have some. Um, what happened to them? I have them in here. I have a big two stacks of uh, quilt squares already cut out. And one is blues and the other one is Dora. And I had it. I got to figure out what. It's probably down the bottom of here. So I do have those. And like I said, today we're going to be starting at different prices, but I do have several like these panels here. We're going to start with some of the dollar ones, some of the dollar panels. Ooh. Is that connected to? Okay. So like this one, for instance, here. Oh, thank you. Oh, girl, I've been working like a whatever. You would not believe how much I've organized. I'm going to do a tour once I finish. I have, hold on, let me stand up. Oh, I have one side finished. Oh, let me unplug here. And pick this up if I can. What's on? Oh, this is on the corner sit right there okay so i do have this side here finished like that's all craft stuff and it's, some of it's labeled and then all of these are dolls in the boxes and this is like barbies lol and channel balls kelly so they're labeled like that and then up there those are all madame alexander's up at the top and these are kind of baby dolls here. Then over here in this corner is like all 18 inch dolls. American girls and everything, except for these little ones, but they are American girls as well. Then this shelf is full of ba bitty babies, Barbies, stuff, soft dolls here. My Blythes are all down here right behind there. This is my little studio area where I do my whatnot videos now. Uh, tonight, is it tonight? Tonight I'm having a Barbie show. And one day this Wednesday night, I'm having a Monster High show. And that's more of that. And then over in this corner is my book area now. So that book, should, so when I'm having my book sales, I just swing my table around there and have my book sales. Yes, Kathy. Yes. And then up at the top of there, you can see this is all cabbage patches. I don't know if you can see them. There you go. So I have two shelves full of nothing but cabbage patches. And then, you know, up high, I still have all of my mugs. Nothing but mugs. And up real high, I got to walk around here. Up real high there. I don't know if you can see up there. Yeah, there you go. Up real high up there is all box dolls. And on the other side, over my door, over the door, I have more box dolls and games, my ribbons and everything. And on that side, I've started organizing my craft ribbon and vintage supplies. 
So I have made great strides. Still have a ways to go though. Okay. So it's still a work in progress. Hey, Marcy. Yeah, still a work in progress. And hopefully, maybe by May, I'll be finished. <laughs> yeah, but I am so proud of the amount of work I've done in the progress. <laughs> that is too funny, Kitty. Hey, Sharon. Okay, so we're going to get started now with the sale. I'm going to start with these panels here. And these are going to be an offer up starting at $1. And then you can bid if you're interested. But we have Baby Daffy Duck. And this is a $1 start. I'm all forever typing and nothing is actually being typed. So you have a choice between the, these are pill, pillow panels, or you can use them for whatever you can stitch them together to make quilts. But I have Daffy, Taz, the Tasmanian Devil, Sylvester. This is Sylvester, isn't that cute? <laughs> And we have Tweety. Okay, so if you're interested, you could put a dollar in the chat and see if anybody else is interested, and then it becomes an offer. So we do have these four here, Sylvester. So would anybody else, this is going to be a choice. So Sharon is at one, or Kitty's at one. Um, does anybody want to go to? Because like I said, to these are going to be offered up because this is stuff that I'd normally sell on Etsy and eBay for quite a bit. So these are offers starting at a dollar a panel. And then say if somebody bid two, they get the first choice. Like Sharon would have first choice of who she wants at this point because she's at two dollars. So is it any other interest in any of these? And I do have multiples of them. Okay, so if it's no other interest, I'm going to call this for Sharon. So going once, going twice, and so. And let's see which one Sharon would want. Yeah, four would make a cute quilt. But I have a total of three of each one of these. So Sharon gets first choice. Well, she's at, she's back to one. Okay, so Kitty wants Sylvester. So since she was the first one to put in one, then she would get her first choice. Okay, Kitty, you want Sylvester. Where's Sylvester? Taz, Sylvester. So we have Kitty with Sylvester at one dollar. Okay. Let me put that down on my paper. Sylvester. Okay. Fold these ones back up and put these aside. Okay, next we're going to do, let's do, we'll do one of these here. Designed to fit, I'm trying to remember how tall. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's no real rules here. We're not, I mean, even on whatnot, you can cancel a bid. Um, trying to see what size this doll is. I want to say she's 14 inches. So you could use these as well, like on the Welly dolls and stuff of the American Girl dolls or Glitter Girl dolls. And these here, this is going to start at $4. And this one is Melanie's Picnic. And in here, you're going to get everything you need except for your sewing machine to make little pantaloons, um, a little dress. And this is a $4 start. 
and I see kitties at four so far. Uh, let's see, the collar, the bloomers. I wish they would give you more. Pre-printed patterns, no. I think you may even get the little shoes in here. I'm gonna open one of them so I can see, so I'll know, because I haven't looked in these things in forever. Let me open one up carefully so I can tell you the right... Ugh. Boy, this thing is really a strong staple in there. There we go. Okay. So this one is Molly that I'm opening up, and this will give you the show you what's in it. So these are the instructions. So yeah, you get the hair. This is to make the headband, puffy flowers. What is this here? I don't know what that go on. The butterflies, this is the collar of the second dress. Okay. And let's see here. This might be, they've been together for so long. That's the sleeve, the bodice. Okay, it's not fading off. Ooh. So it's just a little trim to put on the shoes, I believe. Sleeve, the skirt of the dress, the little pantaloons of the dress. What is this that's stuck together? Oh, it's not stuck together. It's just the back of it. Okay. Pantaloons right there. Yeah, so you just get little decorations. Like in this one here, you would get some little watermelon slices. Hey, Mary. Yes, they gone back home. They went home yesterday morning. So you would get the little trim to trim the shoes. So I see Kitty at four for the this one here. And this one is Melanie's Picnic. Picnic, $4, Kitty. Okay, so now let me put that back inside of here. Let me fold it back up. I'll never be able to fold it back up the way they had it. Okay, let's put this going back in. Okay. It's a folding back up nicely. So, um dress the collar of the dress the bloomers they give you step-by-step -step instructions oh this one has a little purse in it see her little purse on her shoulder there a hairband is optional additional butterflies uh to add to the toes of the shoes or the sleeve ruffle or on the purse a puffy flower uh just like her little toy i guess an accessory doll, cut the doll shape for, oh, they're saying you take this doll here, the picture that's on the front, and you lay it on another piece of fabric and turn it inside, stitch and turn it inside out and you have a little doll there. Okay, so that's what's in these patterns because it's been so long, I honestly could not remember. Okay, so let me put everything back down in here so I don't lose the pieces. And now we're going to go and do... Okay, this is just an iron-on of a glorious Christmas angel. She's beautiful. You'll take them all. Let's count how many it is. Well, let me see if anyone else is interested first. 
Let me show them. If anybody else is interested, just say me when I show it. And that way, it'll be fair. So I have this one here. We have Monique's party dress. We have this little cow one here. And these all fit 14 inch dolls. We have um, this little kitty here. Jane is interested in some. Okay, Jane is interested in some of them. Because I do have quite a few of them here. So I'm going to just lay it down. So let's just go through it. Let me do this one and then we'll go through them really quick. Since I started showing, this is a dollar start. And this is just a little angel to iron on. And Sharon is interested in one. So, yeah, let me just do them individually then. So, if anyone is interested in this here, uh, my keyword of this is art. If anyone is interested, this is a straight price. Well, it starts at a dollar, so it don't be any... Uh, yeah, I did not realize then they were all, yeah, they're going to be like an auction because that's what I was saying. I've been doing a lot of doll thing. I mean, dollar stuff to kind of clear out some things, but I have so many things that I do normally put online and sell like these online. I would probably start these at $10 each. So I will um, start them off at four. If anyone, nobody else bid, then the first person can get those. So this is fashion art, $1, if anyone is interested. Okay. Hey, Stephanie, you at the beach? Oh, no, you're not at the beach this early. <laughs> Sharon. Okay, Sharon, I have you for that. We went... Um, and my girlfriend went over to your channel this morning, I uh, to your whatnot. I uh, was telling her how many Barbies you had, and she was like so excited, can't wait for your sale to come for the Barbie. She is a, she loves Barbies. Okay, so now the next, the first one I'm going to do, this is the cat one, and this is a $4 start, and this one is called, I guess I must have opened this at one time. So this is the cat, and it's a $4 start around 12 okay if anyone is interested uh it's a four dollar start if anyone is interested in the cat you get the little cat you get a little stuffed mouse no out today i just brung um since it was requested so many people say panels but I did find a little bit of clay, but I think I know where some more clay is, but I just did not start that box. So is anybody else interested in the cat? Sharon is at four. Cat panel. $4 and going once, going twice. And so... Okay, let me put that down. Oh, Jane is at five before I got the soul typed in. I'm sorry. So Jane is at five. And so now I'm finally got the word typed in. So Jane gets this one for five. Okay, so we'll start on the next one. Back here, the soles. Okay, this is a $4 start. And this one will be Okay, go away. Okay, this one is going to be the cow dress. So those pretty sunflowers like on this one here. Annabelle the cow. 
And in here, please put all what well, tells you how to make it. Um, and this is a $4 start. If anyone is interested, um, put in a $4 start. If anyone is interested in the cow. And there it is up close. And there is the dress. I see Sharon at four. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. And we'll say this is cow Annabelle. Okay. And I'm going to say going once, going twice, and sold. Okay. Congratulations, Sharon. The next one is a cute, cute little dress one. This is Monique's party dress. You get the dress, the little pocketbook, the pantaloons, and all of that. And this, of course, is a $4 start as well. And I think Kitty is doing on this one here. So Kitty is at four, even though I didn't type a four. <laughs> I just got the dollar sign. My hand get ahead of myself sometimes. Okay. So we have Kitty at four. And these is from 1992 and 1993. And this is Monique's party dress. Okay, if there's no other interest, we'll count it down. Going once, going twice, and sold to Kitty for $4. Thank you. And then the last one I have right now is the one that I opened. And this one is Molly Sunshine, and it is a $4 start. And this is Molly Sunshine. If anyone is interested in that one. Okay, Kitty is at four. Okay. If there's no other interest, y'all know I don't hold it long. And now that I have the soul typed in, all I have to do is control C. Or control V and it types in soul, so sold to Kitty for four dollars. Thank you, Kitty. Okay, the next thing I think is some more of those I haven't gotten around to them yet. It's a dollar start, it's this little Barbie dress, and you do get to tie dye this little dress. You get everything you need in this little box, and this is a dollar start one dollar for the Barbie. Oops, start one, not two. Okay, so if anyone is interested, you get everything you need. This is new in the pack. And I'm quite sure whatever's in there is still fresh because I just bought this. I just bought three of them. And my grand, I gave one to Victoria, one to um, Lily, but ended up Lily didn't want to do hers. So I did Lily's along with Victoria. So I didn't have to do my own. This is $1. You get this cute little Barbie dress. It's very lightweight, so it'll ship first class. So we're going to pass on that one. Okay. Let's get... What is this one here? Let's see what this is. This is a crazy quilt Santa. There he is. And if you put some sand or something in it, you could use it like a doorstop. He's pretty big. I would say he's 18 inches tall. And this is what it looks like finished. You also have a Christmas tree in there. He's holding a star, that blue star. And this is going to be, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. This is going to be a $2 start. 
Hey, Kay, how are you? This is a $2 start on Santa. And you just need to add your own polyfill and sew it around. And I see Kitty at two. Thank you. Mm. All your instructions are on there. It has the list of supplies needed down here. Thank you, Jane, at three. Right there, what you need to add is your own thread, a button to attach the arms, um, some polyfill, some black beads, and some scraps of yarn. And that's it. Kitty is at four. Thank you. Okay, so we'll get ready to call that down if it's no other interest. I need to get my little stickers. Thank you. It's just the Dollar Tree scarf, of course. Let me get my stickers. I had some right here. That's how I keep up with things. By putting my little stickers on it. Sold on that. Okay. Next, let's do a, um, let's do one of the vests. Is this a vest? Yes, this is a Christmas vest. And this will start at $2. Wait, is that some staining on there? Hold on. Yeah, there is a little staining on that. It doesn't hardly show once you get to, I guess some of the red had kind of faded from being folded. But see that little hint of red, pinkish, like right there. And on the other side, it would be about right there, which it really doesn't look bad. So this is going to be a $2 start. And this is going to be for the vest. And this vest has sizes small, medium, large, and extra large on it. So you see it says Santa's on his way. It has all kinds of little stuff and stars. And this is a Daisy Kingdom one. It has all the instructions. And they suggest lining it, but it's not required that you uh, line it because you always could just turn your seams in. The edges in. There's what it looks like finished. And it has all the sizes in it. And this one was a $2 start. And I may bring this back at a dollar start with that spot on it. Okay, put that over on that side because I've shown it. Okay, this one is a dollar start. It's a little bear. And it says, uh, have a happy, and then I think at one time it had some different little, yeah, things that you could add to it. I don't know where you added them because I really can't remember and why I used only part of it. So we're going to pass on that one. And this is going to be a dollar start. Okay, and this bear is about 16 inches. You always could just take this bear and just lay it down on a piece of plain brown fabric and sew around it, leave an opening, and let it become just a pillow. So this was a dollar start, and his bow is pretty generic, so it could be any time of the year, using just the cut bear part of the cutout for one dollar start. And then you could take all these little bears around here and use them for appliques. Or you could always do the same thing. So around each one, 
like another ideal, what you could do, you could make all of these to be ornaments, all of these little bears. Cut them out either in a circle or a square. Put a piece of Christmas print fabric on the back. Add a little ribbon hanger. Sew all the way around it. Turn it to the inside, to the right side. Stuff. Close up your opening and you'll have lots and lots of ornaments. Yeah. Which would be cr pretty on a Christmas tree. That'd be enough to do one of those little small Dollar Tree uh, ones. Okay. So we're going to pass on that one. Bear. Pass. Stephanie, I sent you an email this morning I shared with you. What is this here? Oh, another vest. And we'll just let that stay up there. I didn't put the word pass in. So we'll run this Christmas vest for $1 start. It's a Christmas vest. And this is what it looks like finished. So this is a $1 start on this vest. Yeah, Christmas it says ho, ho, ho. $1 start. Oh, okay, good. So if anyone is interested, put a number one in the $1 in the chat. And you'll win that for a dollar. Okay, let's see what these ones are. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Okay, next, this is a doll. It's a doll panel. I got this from uh, Spoonflower, and y'all know they're real expensive. If you've never ordered from them. Um, okay. No problem. Uh, what was I going to say? And if you're not familiar with Spoonflower, you can send your own designs in and they'll print the fabric for you. And this one is a $5 start on this doll. This one is a $5 start. And it's a back and a front. And that's her little face and a little hair. And she comes with a little cat. And the cat you kind of fold in half, stitch around it, leave an opening, stuff your little cat. And you do the same on the doll. And this is a $5 start. And the instructions are right here. If anyone is interested, that's five. And then it's a little place on the back. I just noticed that. It says made with love. And then you put your name on that line. No, it says, yeah, made with love for. So whoever you're giving it to. So a nice little gift. And I see Jane at five for the little dolly. Okay, going once, going twice, sold so to Jane, I think. Let me hurry up and put soul in. Okay, got you down for that, Jane. Okay. What is this one? Okay, this one is, what is it? What is it? Okay. Oh, it's some Precious Moments appliques. You can cut them out, put uh, iron them to heat bond first, um, iron them on sweatshirts, t-shirts, make pillows out of them, anything like that. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. About twenty cutouts on here. 
It's about 20 cutouts. I really believe this is two panels. Yeah, these this is two panels. So you'll get 10 panels, and this is starting at $2 for 10 different uh, ones. So this is two of them. So it's um, $2 start. So this is a $2 start, and you'll get 10 of the precious moments. So you'll get these five here. No, it's more than that. One, two, three, four, five. You'll get these six. And on the other side, it's actually a half a yard you'll be getting for $2. You'll get these ones here, which is one, two, three, four, five. So it's actually, I think, 11. So you'll get 11. I see Warren for two. Thank you. Anybody want to go two or uh, want to go three or higher? Cut that now while I'm thinking about it. How are you doing today, Warren? Okay, let me finish cutting that and then I'll put uh hey strong minds, how are you? Happy Monday. Yeah, the weather is beautiful today. And I'm gonna count this down for Warren going one going twice and soul to warren control v and soul warren you want one panel or two kind of cloudy uh it's not really cloudy it's a little bit maybe it is i don't know <laughs> two okay you want both of them times two Okay. Okay, I have you down for that. Thank you. The next one. These are some cutouts. It's three little bears. So you get this one here, this one, and this one with the red truck. This is a $1 start. This one is a $1 start. Hey, Joetta, Jolita. So you'll get that little guy there. These are really pretty on a sweatshirt. You'll get this one and you'll get this one. Another idea, you know, I see Warren at $1. Thank you, Warren. That you don't think of often, but you can always uh, do decoupage or mod podge these on the front of a basket for Christmas. And that way you're something that you'll have for a good while. Okay. And if there's no other interest, we're going to say going once, going twice, and so $1 to Warren. Thank you. Next, oh, here's some. Okay, this is a dollar start. This is a stack of little quilt squares. I don't know how many it is, more than 20 or so. You got this pattern here, some in that pattern, some of this one here, a lot of that one, some more of those, some blue stripes, and this is a dollar start. for quilt squares. They are four inch squares. Quilt squares. It's a $1 start. I see Sharon. I see Jane at two. And this might be some more of these down in the box. I just haven't came across them yet. Sharon is at three, thank you. This is, and this is a, I like the feel of this one here. So if there's no other interest, we'll call that down. Going once, 
going twice. And so, congratulations, Sharon. I'm not putting any numbers down on my paper, so I gotta really. Okay, next is what is this? Oh, this is Isaac and what's that other little boy's name? Joseph. They're two little Amish boys. You get two of them. You get the big guy. He's probably about 20 inches. And then you get this little one here. You get all of their clothes and everything. Find their picture to show you how they look done. That's what they look like finished up. And this is a $2 start. And this, and they're running now. But you get their clothes, their hats, and everything. And where's my ruler? I don't know what I did with my ruler. But I can measure it like this. That's 12. Yeah, it's right at about 20 inches, the big boy. And that's Joseph. And then Isaac. Isaac is about nine inches tall. So that's Joseph and Isaac. All of their clothes and everything. And it is a $2 start. Okay, so we're going to pass on that. Let me get another one out. What is this one here? Okay. This is a quilt panel. And it's going to be a $2 start as well. And it is a snowman. And this makes like the size for a baby's uh, crib quilt or a throw on the back of the sofa would be pretty. This is a $2 start. And this is what it looks like finished. And they're showing it as a wall hanging. There it is. And it says, you are not alone. It's a little um, snowman, a lamb or a sheep and a little bunny rabbit and i see warren at two thank you okay and you get uh, and this finished size is about the fin the actual finished size of the one two it's probably about 36 by 30 maybe the actual size of the finished panel and Jane is at three. This is a Daisy Kingdom panel. And these little green squares here on the side, this is to make the little things to hang it if you want to hang it from the wall. And thank you for the hearts. Okay. Let's fold that up. And then we'll start calling that going once, going twice, and trolling so sold to Warren for four dollars, snowman. Four dollars Warren. Okay, so we got that. And I think, let me look, Jane, I may have another one of those. Let me look. Yep. Okay. Jane, are you interested in one at $3? Jane, would you like one for three? Yes. 
Okay, so Jane, you'll get one for three because that was your highest bid. Your offer, rather. Okay, next I have this pretty dress here. This dress fits an 18 inch doll. It's just a piece of lint. Okay. You'll get the dress in the little vest. And this is by Daisy Kingdom. It fits an 18 inch doll. Well, it says 17 to 19 inches. Hey, Leanne, how are you? And this one's going to be a $5 start. This is a $5 start for this dress. And it has little uh, cherubs like all the way around the hemline. Oops. It has complete instructions printed on it. I see Kitty at five. Thank you, Kitty. There's all of the instructions. And there's all of the pieces. Hey, Shelly. And like I said, I will finish up invoicing um, this evening and try to get all of them sent out today. And then I'll start shipping on tomorrow. I probably not going to ship till Wednesday because I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at 11 for my annual physical. So uh, Kitty is at seven and Jane is at eight. Thank you for the offers. Daisy Kingdom fits most 18 inch dolls, including American Girl, Sydney, Carell, Gotts, Lizzie dolls, Fibercraft and others. Okay, and Kitty is at nine and Jane is at 10. It's a pretty one here. Okay, Kitty's out, so we're going to call it going once, going twice, and sold to Jane for 10. Thank you. I appreciate both offers. Okay, put your name on that. I think I have some more. I hope they're in this box. I hadn't really looked all the way through it. I just know I've seen a lot of Christmas in here. Okay. This is some panel, some uh, applique panels of Old Father Christmas. You're going to get these two here. And these two here. And this is a $2 start. This is a $2 start. And you can see they're showing they put them on some tablecloths, sweatshirts, tote bags, as well as they're showing it on an apron and or a pillow. Oh, you can do it. It's pretty easy, Jane. And I see Warren at three. Thank you. And those are all four of them. And again, you can put these on a basket. Use Mod Podge. And just in case you don't know what Mod Podge is, you can buy a Mod Podge. And this is what it looks like. And this one is a mat. So if you don't like to shine, I see Kitty at five. Thank you. Um, put a coat of this on your basket. Put it so it acts like a glue. Put your design on the basket and then another coat there. And then if you have some Christmas fabric, make a real pretty big bow. Stiffen your out to kitty. Okay, thank you, Warren, for letting me know. Stiffen your bow and that would be really a pretty one for Christmas. And so kitty is five. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. Put your name on that. I gotta fold this back up first. I don't know why. I just think I have to fold the fabric back up. 
Oh, yesterday, just in case you missed it, you may want to go look at it. Uh, Sharon crafted along, but on uh, Reclaimed Treasures by Mary, we made boo-boo bunnies yesterday. You put the little ice cube in there or set it in the freezer. Oh, okay. So we made boo-boo bunnies yesterday. And we made a little boo-boo chick. And they're not just for Easter. They're all the time. So go watch her channel and you could make one. It takes one washcloth. Oh, you're going to make stockings. Oh, okay. That would be nice. Okay. Next we have a Halloween vest. And you get some bonus appliques. I don't know what you do with those bonus appliques to make a broom. It tells you how to make a broom. I want to make the vest. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is a $2 start. Oh, still got it. Okay, I'll show the angel in just a minute. This is a $2 start for this vest. $2 start. And it is a Halloween vest. There's the little witch. There's the front of it. Oh, so this one is just the front. And then you got to use your own fabric for the back. So some denim would look good to put the make of the back of it in linen. I mean, a uh, denim. And line it with the denim on the front. Oh! See, I wasn't reading. This is not a vest, y'all. They add this to a T-shirt. See down there on the bottom, they added it to a T-shirt. That's what they did with it. I see Gilletta, $2. Thank you. That's why it's no back. And these down here, they added some prairie points. Oh, along the edge of the vest right here, they put those little pointed things that be on quilts and stuff. Okay. So we can go in and count that down for Jaleta, Jaleta. <laughs> I always thought it was Jaleta. Okay. Thank you, your new information. Okay, thank you. And we're going to say so. Okay. Where is that little? Oh, here she is right here. This was the one I made out of a towel because I didn't have quite. Oh, excuse me, I got a sneeze. Oh, guess it didn't want to come out. But this is the little um, angel dish towel made out of one dish towel. Now, the one we made on, we were supposed to be making, the wings were made out of a pot holder, but I didn't have any pot holders. So I just cut my towel in half. Yeah. So, and these don't take long at all. Okay, next we have some pillow panels, and we have two of them, and they are $1 start. Thank you. And this pillow looks to be about uh, 16 inches. It's a 16 inch square pillow. You do get the instructions and everything. It's just a pillow panel. It has real nice um, farmhouse colors in it. And you get um, one panel. And I do have two panels available. And it's a $1 start. Okay. 
I tell you, these colors were so popular back in the day. Granny's trunk pillow is what this one is called. And that was a $1 start on the pillow. So we're going to pass on that one. Okay, let's see what else we got down in here. Okay, I see Sharon just got home. Take your eight po. Ooh, Sharon on this pillow, quilt pillow. One dollar, Sharon. And we just type in soul so I'll know as I'm watching. Okay. What is this one here? <laughs> okay, this is for a little called Nicholas Bear. And then you get a little baby bear as well. And Nicholas is about, let's see how tall Mr. Nicholas is. That's his body, head and body. This is the back of it. So he is a setting bear because he has a little joint there, his ears. Those are his clothes. He's pretty big. Yeah, he's pretty big. I would say he is at least, hold on, let's see here. That's 12. 12. He's about 20 inches tall, and this is a $3 start. This is a $3 start. And you get the baby bear, plus you get the uh, other bear and it's jointed. You get the little Santa clothes. But what's neat about this bear, thank you, Kitty. What's neat about this bear, his clothes are not attached to his body. So you could dress him in all kinds of clothes for all seasons. Yeah. Use before you make him, cut out his pattern out of other prints and stuff. And that way you could make him an Easter bear, uh, Christmas, Halloween, every day. I mean, just for everything. And if there's no other interest, we're going to agree to call that down for Miss Kitty. Okay. Okay. Jane is at four. Kitty's at five. And of course, all the instructions are right on there as well. Okay, and we'll count that down, going once, going twice, and I'm going to type in soul. If there's no other interest before the soul gets in, it'll go to kitty at five. Okay. Yes, we got that. Thank you. That's a cute one they're made up. And now it doesn't tell you, but I put a little um, of the doll pellets in the seat of it, and that way it'll set really good. Or take a little uh, pantyhose or something and put some gravel in it, and after you stuff it, set that down in there. And that way it gives you a really nice weight. Next, we have this quilted Precious Moments quilt panel, and it's 36 by 45. That's the center of it, and then it has the little clouds all around. And the back of it is this white, and you just would use um, any type of binding, or you could put lace around the edge, and this is going to be a $5 start. This is a $5 start. Love that color on there. And it's very gender neutral. So it could be for a girl or a boy. That's the front. And then let's show the back of it. And that is the back. I see Sharon. Okay, Jolita was first at five 
And of course, it's his precious moments, it's license and all that stuff. It says that technical information on the bottom. I see Sharon at six. Okay, purchase moment quilt. Okay. It's ready to call that down. If there's no other interest, <laughs> Gillette is at seven. Okay. And Sharon is at eight. Gillette's at nine. And I don't keep like going and going. I begin to call it down going once, going twice. And as long as anybody else want to bid, if it comes in before I hit the soul shows up, it is theirs and Sharon is out. So thank you. $9. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, that right there. Next, we have a Christmas apron. Hey, Nancy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you liking your job? It is a snowman. I say Christmas, but it's more of a winter apron. And it says, Friends Tradition Dancing Snowman Apron. And this is a $3 start. A $3 start for this apron. These are the straps over here. This red with little uh, snowflakes like on it. You have more over here. And this will fit just about any size. There's all of the instructions right there. A $3 start on this pretty apron. This blue is so bright and sparkly to me. And on the snowman, he actually had like a glittery finish. I don't know if it's showing up on there or not. But this is like glitter, this part here. So it looks like snow. Busier with yards. <laughs> May get to learn about pricing glass. Oh, okay. That'll be fun. And there's a picture of the finished apron right there. Okay, so let's put that aside. What is this one here? Okay, this is another Santa bear. Where is the bear part? There's his shoe, there's his beard. Where it's just, this is just an outfit for, I did not realize that, is this VIP too? No, that's Nicholas. This is just an outfit for a bear. It has the um, shoes. It has the little Santa outfit. It has the hat and everything. It even have a little beard on there. And this bear is uh, for a 24 inch bear. Kitty, you just, just okay. So were you interested in the apron? or this bear. It's going to be a $3 start too. Yeah, it's a $3 start as well, Kitty. This fits a 24 inch bear. So if you have your own bear, just make the cute little clothes and you're good to go. Okay. Okay. Oh, did y'all get a lot of bad weather um, over the weekend, Nancy? Oh, 
Okay, next we're going to do these baby bibs. You're going to get three quilted bibs and the instructions on what to do with it. And the floss and everything is in there. Three pre-finished bibs with, and it's made out of the cloth, the eight of cloth on the pocket. Cotton floss, a needle, graft, and instructions. This is a $4 start. So we passed on that one. And this one is a $4 start. This is a $4, yes, strong winds. Yeah, the winds were bad here. We didn't get any tornadoes, but the winds were real bad here too. You get a green, a blue, uh, like a turquoise blue and a red bib and all everything you need to make these four designs, three designs there. And that was a $4 start. And the pocket part of the uh, bib is made out of the eight o'clock. Okay. Playtime bids. Okay, I showed those already. That. 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 Let's see what else is down here. What is this one? This is a Night Before Christmas Christmas book. And this is two of them. So I have two of these. And these are going to be an $8 start on these Christmas books. Because these sell really good on eBay and Etsy for... So Kitty, you're bidding on the bibs. Four on the bibs. And this book has how many pages? 10 pages, it looked like total back and front. I'll show you the cover of the book. There is the cover right there, the cover in the back. Here's the next group of pages here. Then you have these pages here. along with the story and you um put poly uh not poly batting between the pages sew around them turn them inside out and then you sew them all together and if there's no other interest we're going to go in and call it for kitty so eight dollars night before christmas book eight dollars kitty okay put your name on that okay well lord i hope the mailman pick up my mail i do have a note for her Okay, here's another one. I didn't know I had that one. This is a snowman. This is a snowman. This one here is going to be a $3 start. $3 start. It's a big snowman. You can see how tall that is, about 20 inches. Look at that big old head. And it comes with a wreath and scarf to put around the neck and the hat. So you'll get everything you need to finish that up. And this was a $3 start. You need to add your own thread. You need about 12 ounces of polyfill, a one inch plastic or metal ring 
two pom-poms, red pom-poms for the uh, holly and three black buttons, large black buttons. And they're probably optional too. And if you don't put stuff it, they're showing it as a door hanger, hanging on your door. So I guess that's something else you could do with it. And I see Kitty at three. Thank you, snowman. That is not how you spell snow. And we'll just go in and call that soul. And thank you very much, Kitty. I appreciate it. Temperature must be dropping outside. What's the temperature? It's 70, but it's feeling cool in here all of a sudden. Okay. I showed that. Okay. We have this little Christmas cow here. And this is going to be a $3 start. Where is he? There's a picture of him right here. That's a little cow. And this is one that you can dress any way you want, actually, because the cow is all black and white. And this is a $3 start. See you later. Thanks for stopping in, Angie. Uh-oh. This is a $3 start on the cow. And like I said, you could dress this any way you want. And this cow is probably, that's his body, 12 inches. And his little legs are short. Ear, that's an ear. It's probably an 18-inch cow. Yeah, I would say he's an 18-inch cow. And it has a little Christmas print um dress on but again you could use this to cut your own squares out to make your dress out of any fabric you want and this is a three dollar start for the cow start that over there and what is this one here Okay, this is some more of the uh, spoon flower fabric. But now this is considered their fat quarter, but they don't tell you that when you get it, you're losing a half a dress. But you still could use this here and just make the solid, make the back of the dress solid and put a, a shoulder seam on this one. But you do get one complete dress. And this is a $3 start. So I'll leave the three up there. You get the cute little strawberry one. And then the little panda, the front. Or you could use this here as a little apron. A doll apron. And I have no idea. Uh, this would probably fit a 12-inch doll like a baby alive. Uh, who else would it fit? I'm not sure who. I know I would say Baby Alive. It would fit in a couple of other dolls, but I'm not sure who. And then you get this little heart here. Thank you, Nancy. So that was a $3 start as well. Show that. I don't think I showed... Hmm. This is just the me uh, pass on that. And then we'll do a dollar start. Okay, so what this is, this is a long strip of ABC fabric. It's starting at a dollar. It's just, so it's one yard. It's a narrow strip, so you could use it to bind a quilt or something. So that's one yard. 
two yards, three yards. So this piece is about four yards. And then you have this piece here that's two yards. So this would be perfect to go all the way around a quilt, a baby size quilt. So this is a dollar start on this. And if you were to get the Warner Brothers uh, other prints I showed earlier, that was a dollar start for those. Use this as the binding would be pretty. I think that's what I was doing with it. Because it was already cut and torn straight and everything for me. Yep. And I think that was about it. And I'll do a quick recap. I really wasn't writing it down like I normally do, but let's do this here. I can look and remember the prices or. Hmm. Let me see what else I have. I thought I had another. Hold on. I thought I Warren one dollar for this. Ooh. One dollar Warren. Okay, so let's do a recap while I try to see what because I know I had a couple of other um I thought I had some more doll dresses. No, I did. These were a dollar start. We had uh Daffy Duck. We'll just do them for a straight dollar this time. So you can just put Daffy to claim on this one here. Baby Daffy. We have Taz. One dollar for Taz. We have Tweety. Sharon wants Tweety. Tweety. Sharon. Okay. And we also have Warren wants Daffy. Place, Daffy, Warren, and if anybody would like in in Taz, um, I do have another one of each one of those. So if you want, uh, if anybody else wants Sylvester, Tweety, Daffy, or Taz, let me know. Warren. And I'll show you what uh, Daffy looks like since she came in late. Okay, that's there. Here is baby Sylvester. You already have one Sylvester. Did you want another Sylvester, uh, Kitty? Did you want a second Sylvester? Warren wants Tweety as well. Tweety, Warren. Okay. Taz for, okay, hold on. Let me um, put the labels on them so I know what we're doing here. I had some more of these cut out. The Lord only knows. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, you want another? Okay, so you'll have two Sylvester's times two. Okay. And then I can tell you what I have left after I uh, put the tags on them. Okay, so that is Sylvester there. Okay, so that's Kitty. Okay, so that's Sylvester for Kitty. And then Warren wanted... Uh, hey, Beth, how are you? Got one Taz. Okay, Joletta wanted a Taz. Taz, Joletta. Okay, got your Taz. And let me get a Tweety for Warren. I am good. Did you miss a Tweety? I think I may have one more Tweety. Let me check. That's why I wanted to go on and divide them before I went any further. So this is Warren. That's Warren. Okay, so now... That's his Tweety. So there is a Daffy left. Daffy, Taz, and uh, Sylvester. Yes, I have a Tweety left. You want a Tweety? Okay. Beth. Tweety. Okay. Put your name on that one. I have you two Sylvester's down, our kitty. Tweety, this is Beth. Fifty five. Okay, let me go over and show you what I have labeled, okay? Let me put each person's in a pile, and then I will show you what I have. Kitty. Warren. Warren. Sharon. Warren. And all the way down at the very beginning. Okay, right here. So, Kitty, I have you two Sylvester's. I have Kitty two Sylvester's. Warren, I have um, Daffy, Taz, and a Tweety. Beth, a Tweety. Sharon, a Tweety. And Joletta, a Taz. Okay. You want two Taz, okay? Get another Taz off of here. Times two. Taz times two, okay? Okay, I have it straight now. So what I have left, 
I'll show you what's left just in case anybody else. I'm going to get your name on this one. Okay. So what's left of those, if anyone is interested, Warren, if you're making a quilt, you may want to get one more because with this would make a beautiful quilt since you have this um, binding stuff here. But left we have Daffy. I guess Daffy, I guess people don't like, oh, this is a Sylvester. A Sylvester left and another Daffy is left. So that's what's left over is three of them. Okay, so got those done. And let's see. So we had the apron left and it was $3. It's a winter apron, not necessarily Christmas, just a winter apron. Let me show you what that looks like. And this was $3. It has dancing snowman on it. And that's $3 for the snowman um, apron, $3. We had this, you know what? I'm going to cut this down. I think I can cut this down to fit a life. I'm going to cut this down. Apron Jane. Okay. Three dollars, Jane. Write your name on one of these. Okay. Then we had um, what was this? A Santa, a crazy quilt Santa, Sylvester Warren. Hold on, let me go back and find him. Sylvester Warren. Okay. Okay, and then do a Sylvester for you. Okay. Put your name on that. Thank you. Okay, so this is the Crazy Quilt Santa. He's about 18 inches tall. You actually get two of them. What are the other things for? That's the nose. What is the other thing? Yeah, you get two of them. And this was $3 for the Crazy Quilt Santa. $3. Crazy Quilt Santa. Three dollars for this one. Jane, okay, Crazy Quilt. Three dollars, Jane. Put that one so okay we had a nicholas another nicholas because i had two of those i guess this is nicholas bear it's a plain bear that you can dress you do have a santa suit but you can put him in anything you want and this one was four dollars this santa here was four dollars that one was four, and there he is. But his clothes are separate. So you can always, um, you know, dressing for whatever occasion. Then we had this vest. And this was the vest that had a spot on it, right? I thought this vest had a spot on it. I must have had two of them. I must have had two of these. Okay. 
So this vest here does not have a spot on it. It's a Christmas vest. This is what it looks like. And this is $2, no, $3, excuse me, Santa. Yeah, $3. This one is three. And if you want the one with the spot on it, I'll do the one with the spot on it for $2. And I'll show it to you when I get down to that. But this makes the vest. And it has size small, medium, large, and extra large. What is this one? No, another crazy quilt, Santa. We had the little cow. His clothes or her clothes are separate. And they, it's kind of hard to see what it looks like. And these are poinsettias. And this would be $3 for the cow. $3 for the cow. Okay, that's so. That's so. I do I have that in that pile. Okay. We have another one of the aprons. If anybody want another apron, they're three. Then we have Joseph and um, Isaac. They're little Amish children. They kind of look like that. And one is 18 inches and the other one is nine inches. And this was $4 for the Amish children. You want another apron, Jane, a second apron? Times two. Okay, the little Amish children. Okay, I put your name on it. The little Amish children was four dollars. Then we have what is this one? Another vest, a Christmas vest. Side down. Right there's the Christmas vest. And I'll do this vest for $2 for the Christmas vest. It says, ho, ho, ho. Christmas vest, $2. And then we had this little bear panel, $1. Cute little bear. And you can make him into a door hanging out hanger after I've seen the other one like that. And the last one would be this vest, the vest that has the little red fading on it. Right there, you can see on the vest part, it'll just look like that kind of. And I'll do this one for a dollar if anyone wants this one. One dollar for this Christmas vest, and it has a small, medium, large, and extra large on it. One dollar for this vest. That's what it looks like right there. And that is it, everyone. Unless, you know, anybody want me to reshow anything? I really appreciate y'all helping me clean my stash. I think that's what has inspired me so much to get everything clean my the studio set back up again and i'll be able to work out here have my shows out here without having to keep moving stuff back and forth so my next sale will be tuesday night at seven o'clock it'll be a doll sale and what i'm going to do is i'll have a bunch of barbies and other dolls and they will be nude most of them but I'll have clothes and you can make your selection of the clothes that you want to dress your dolls in. And that'll be tomorrow night. Or you can buy just clothes. I'll have tons of clothes. Um, then on Wednesday at 4 o'clock, I'll be on with uh, Sandy and Otto on Trisha's channel at 4 o'clock. And then Saturday, Trisha will be on my channel at noon. And immediately following that, we'll have another book sale. You know me and Jan, we love some book sales. 
Do you have any more aprons? No, I don't have a, a another apron. I just had those two aprons is all. Sorry. <laughs> so again, I want to thank all of y'all for joining me. I do appreciate it so much. And we will be seeing you around the chats and have a wonderful rest of your day and stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, Sharon, I'll read it.